heard of deep fake technology? Yeah. You have. So deep this fakes. is yeah. something that can make videos that look and sound very well. And U.S. intelligence have warned us about the potential threat to national security posed by deep fakes. Yeah, we see a lot of this during uh, political season, right? Well, Donnie O'Sullivan shows us how AI can fake our own voices. Our parents won't know the difference. They're so good. Hello? Hi, Mom. Hi, Donnie. How are you? Does my voice sound different to you? Yeah, I just said that to Sinead. I said, Donnie sounds so American. This is not actually me. This is a voice made by computer. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. There has been an explosion in fake audio and voices being generated through artificial intelligence technology. This is an AI cloned version of Walter White's voice. This is an AI cloned version of Leonardo DiCaprio's voice. All you need is a couple of minutes recording of anyone's voice and you can make it seem like they have said just about anything, even Anderson Cooper. We've come here to UC Berkeley today to talk to Hanny Fareed, a digital forensic expert, about just how easy it is to put words into other people's mouths. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> sure. But it's also really scary. I think once you put aside that gee whiz factor, I don't think it takes a long time to look at the risks. This is Wolf Blitzer. Hanny Fareed, you are in the Situation Room. That sounds That's good. I guess that sounds That's pretty good. good. By uploading just a few minutes of me and some of my colleagues' voices to an AI audio service, I was able to create some convincing fakes, including this one of Anderson Cooper. Donnie O'Sullivan is a real piece of sh**. That's AI. <laughs> that's it really? That's AI. That's good. Yeah, yeah Anderson is, is really good. Man. Because Anderson doesn't have a stupid Irish accent. The technology did struggle with my Irish accent, but we decided to put it to the ultimate test with my parents. I am about to try call my mom back in Ireland and see if I can trick her with this voice. Yeah. I think I'm gonna be successful. I'm nervous. I'm like, my hands are. <laughs> All right. Hello? Hi, mom. Hi, Donnie. How are you? Just finished shooting our story here. I'm going to the airport in a while. There seems to be a delay in the phone, Donnie. Can I say a quick hello to dad? Yep. How you doing, Eric? Hi, Dad. How are you, Ian? How are you? Good yourself? Just finished shooting our story here. I'm going to the airport in a while. How are you? Oh, you come back. You come back again, Eric? Are our carry playing this weekend? Yeah, playing carry on the center. My dad went on to have a conversation with the AI Doni about how Kerry, our home football team, had a game that weekend. Eventually, I had to come clean. Dad, I'll give you a call better later on. Could you just put me back on to mom for a second? My parents knew something was off, but ultimately they still fell for it. Oh yeah, some of it don't do that, but it was like, um, it was like your voice was a little tone lower and it sounded very serious. Yeah. Like you had something serious to say. Because I went, oh jeez, my heart was hopping first. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, the white is very funny. <laughs> the white is very funny, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll, I'll, call, I'll call you later, Dad. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is not classic. The mom is like, something's wrong with my son. The dad's like, everything's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to close out today's ceremony with a question. If you were given a choice, would you choose to have unlimited bacon but no more video games? With fake Biden and Trump recordings going viral online, Fareed says this could be something to be wary of going into the 2024 election. When we enter this world where anything can be fake, any image, any audio, any video, any piece of text, nothing has to be real. We have what's called the liar's dividend, which is anybody can deny reality. With a flood of new AI tools releasing online, he says companies developing this powerful technology need to think of its potential negative effects. There is no online and offline world. There's one world, and it's fully integrated. When things happen on the internet, they have real implications for individuals, for communities, for societies, for democracies. And I don't think we as a field have fully come to grips with our responsibility here. In the meantime, I'll continue annoying my colleagues. Hear this thing Anderson said. I've been doing this a long time. I have to say, Donnie O'Sullivan is probably the best in the business. It's incredible. It's really good. That's very kind of him it's to really, say that. It's really, as well. you know, you should be honored, really.